made Kyle Kuzma part of the trade. This was a deal breaker for the Knicks, and ultimately Morris would still be dealt to L.A., but to the Clippers instead of the Lakers, who ended up not making a single move before the trade deadline. So, Shannon, how much did it hurt to lose Marcus Morris to the Clippers? I believe they're going to regret this. I believe they're going to regret holding on to Kyle Kuzma. Um, now, I don't believe that Marcus Morris, Skip, he'll get the same opportunities that he got in New York. There's not going to be that many, th that kind of shot selection to go around with Kawhi, with Paul George, with uh, Trez, with uh, Lou Williams. Because that'll be a great, that's going to be a great closing lineup at the end of the day. And even starting, he's going to go into the starting rotation as he replaces Harkless. But Skip, Morris is a 3D guy. He shoot the three, he can D you up. And that's Lincoln, another... 44% from... And he's shooting six a game. Woo. So that's another guy that can throw at LeBron. Ugh. So now you got you. If let's just say I, we believe LeBron's gonna play somewhere between 36 and 40 minutes of a 48 minute game in the playoffs, that's Morris, Kawhi, and Paul George that you can throw at him all 38, 36 to 40 of those I minutes. I believe they'll go third, a third, and a third. Yes. Yep. And and, and that's a, a, a heck of a mm -hmm. that's a a nice triplets to have to be to be able to throw at LeBron. Um, Skip, look, the Lakers knew he was worth something. Mm -hmm. This is why they they were they were going after him. You're not you're not just got getting a guy like okay he's on a buy contract. They believe that he could help them. Mm -hmm. I believe he can help them, and not only could he help them, it would have hurt the Clippers because the Clippers wouldn't have gotten him. Mm -hmm. Now the Clippers hurt the Lakers by getting him, and the Lakers don't have him. Look, I just I don't trust Kyle Kuzma come playoff time. Mm. I don't. I give me. When it's all said and done, Skip, I'd rather have a guy that's been there. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that he's Kevin Durant. He doesn't need to be. Give me a guy that's been in big moments, that's played in big games, as opposed to a guy that, like, well, he's young and he might. I don't do well with that. Mm -hmm. Give me the guy that's proven. Mm -hmm. So, 24 hours ago. Man, I don't want to talk about no 24 oh, hours ago. we got to talk about it, Shannon. Sorry. Y you were... Sizing, you were, you were screaming out your ring. What are you, 14? I told 14. you not to 14 jinx it. ring size? Yeah. Because you thought it was over. I did. Rick Buker had my hopes up. Yeah, he did. I think a lot of people thought that was <laughs> heading that direction. And at the last second, it was sort of a miniature version of what Kawhi did to the Lakers. Yeah, All of right. a sudden, wait a second. Yeah. Breaking news. Boom. Mark Smart's Clipper? But see, the difference here between that, Skip, there's nothing else the Lakers could have done because it's not like they could have traded for Paul George because they had just emptied the coffers to get AD. So it wasn't like in this, in this same situation, the Clippers had a first-round pick that they could offer. Okay. The Lakers could have got him. Just throw Kyle Kuzma butt in there. Man, Kyle, out of pack this out of pack. In fact, it you came down form? to that. Out of pack, out of pack. I'd have drove him to the airport myself. <laughs> now, you know I hate being in that traffic. But I'd have got on the 405 and went and picked his butt up, because I think he's there in the marina, and drove him. Yes, I'd have came from my place, through all that traffic on the 405, went to the marina, got his butt, and drove him back to the airport. Mm. How nice of you. Mm. So to me, step back perspective mm -hmm. on this, the, the Clippers just seem to be playing more and more chess to the Lakers' checkers. It, it seems like the Clippers are now the L.A. team that is tone setting, proactive, and the Lakers just keep flailing reactively. Okay. Well, we it, try, Skip. I got it. I, I got it. But it, it just seems like Jerry West, now running the Clippers, keeps pulling off little genius moves just the way he did once upon a time for the other LA team, yeah. the Lakers. That's what it feels like to me. And the, it, it's like the Clippers under Steve Ballmer are becoming. Google and Amazon and Apple, you know, it's like they're all rolled into one, and it's feeling more and more like the Lakers are this generic we startup a, company. We AOL. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. that's old news, that's AOL. Old, you that's don't want to be old, AOL old anymore. News. I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. <laughs> so here we go again because everything changed that moment on what was it, July the fifth? The night, Friday night, July 5th, mm -hmm. when we had a pretty sizable earthquake here in Los Angeles yes. in Southern California that rippled all the way to Las Vegas because there was a summer league game and it was shook up. <laughs> yep. And what was it, maybe an hour later, 
that another quote unquote quake hit the NBA world. And what? And I keep, I can't get out of my head. I, I looked at ESPN.com and I saw a picture of Kawhi in a Clipper jersey. And I thought, what? No, wait, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I did say that. I yeah, thought wait. somebody photoshopped No, 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 no. Wait, wait a second. No, no. You got it back. Because it was like a foregone conclusion he was going to be a Laker. Yep. Wow. And we all got bamboozled by that one. Yep. And <laughs> it, it felt that way to me on a much smaller scale yesterday because for Mo Harkless and a protected first and then he, they threw in a second, mm -hmm. it just didn't seem like enough. I don't know. There has to be some other machination going on that Jerry West pulled off. It, it's possible even Marcus was involved in this huh. and he just said, I would prefer to play with Doc Rivers and mm -hmm. the Clippers. Like, I, I, my fit is better there. I don't know right. that for a fact. And you considering that Dolan and Bomber are su suing each other. Yeah. They're like, well, I mean, hold yeah. on. If I, I Skip, if I'm suing you, I'm not making oh, a deal so with you. That's so interesting. I'm not making, I'm not trading with you. Okay. <laughs> you my enemy. Keep you, business separate yeah. in that well, sense? could be right. So I told you yesterday, I'm going to restate my take, my position on Marcus Morris. I don't like him as a human being because of what he did to the Spurs because that was some dirty pool. Well, that Where, might play something in it because Rich Paul. Maybe. Yeah, because huh. he, the Spurs thought they had sort of a verbal handshake type agreement. And at the last second, the Knicks came with a little more money and he said, I'm going to the Knicks. And Rich Paul was so disgusted by that, he cut ties with Marcus Morris. You got to. Yeah, and I admired that greatly. Most agents will do that, Skip. If you give, if an agent, because obviously you, the, the agent is speaking to the mm -hmm. team, and if the agent calls and says, okay, we have a deal, okay. football, baseball, it doesn't matter, Skip, it doesn't matter the sport. All right. You give that agent, give you his word. Got it. You got to follow through. Bingo. Agreed. <laughs> Now, to Marcus Morris, the basketball player. I have nothing but admiration for him as a player. Okay. He's a tough guy. Mm -hmm. He will take and he will make big shots and big moments. He will play hard, smart, savvy, mm -hmm. gritty, sort of gray area defense. He, he is a man's man, and he, he took a shot the other night that was completely out of bounds. Remember where he made a female reference yeah, and yes, he apologized yeah, for it? Yeah, yeah. But... He, he's one of those old school tough guys mm -hmm. who he'll fight you. Yeah, and literally. He will literally fight you. <laughs> and he's liable to call Jay Crowder soft and anybody else soft, mm -hmm. and he can back it up. Mm -hmm. So he's a great ingredient for a playoff run for a veteran basketball team. Mm -hmm. He would have been a great fit with the Lakers. Oh. He's a great fit with the Clippers. Well, he, 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 he's a great, he would have been a great fit for the Lakers, but he might be an even better fit for the Clippers because of how he plays. Mm -hmm. They have, I mean, you look at Pat Bev, he's more Pat Bev, Trez Harrell he is. than anything for the Lakers. Yeah. That, that, that's, you know, and I, I just I, I just don't know. I get, you know, Rob Palenka, and he's done a great job assembling this team considering once Kawhi decided he was going to the Clippers. Skip, you got to make this move. Yep. You got to. So I've told you before, I love Kyle Kuzma. I just don't love him for your team. Yes. There's some way he doesn't fit in there. Right. And I don't know exactly what the locker room machinations are, yeah. but somehow LeBron and AD are not going to buy in because you have to buy into him as if he is Lou Williams, but he doesn't have Lou's pedigree. No. He doesn't. He, he hasn't earned the right to be Lou Williams. No. They would just have to make him their Lou Williams. Right. So when he comes in in the fourth quarter, they have to feature him right. and defer and play to him. Right. And they're not going to do that. Not gonna LeBron's do not going to do it. No. So he's the odd man out here. And I agree with you. They should have just cleared the decks with it, especially if you could bring it. And I don't know if it did come down just to that, right. but you're probably right. It probably did. Mm -hmm. And if it did... Polinka made the wrong move, and if LeBron's body language last night was any indication, he really made the wrong Skip, move. Skip, I, I mean, I'm watching the game, and, 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 he, and here's the thing. He just gets the ball. He might have LeBron and another guy ball handle on the wings. He wants to drive the ball up. He gets a charge, turnover. Yep. So, so last, last night, he has the ball. LeBron cuts through the lane, wide open. Nobody's under the hoop. He got his head down looking for his shot. Yeah, I got it. He, he plays without the confidence he had the last two years because he he looks unsure, but his his light is so green, he's just going to go, and now he's going to play out of control. Skip, his rookie year, there's no expectations. Last year, we like, maybe they can make the playoffs, but, you know, be an eight seed, a yep. fifth seed, or something like that. Now, mm -hmm. you have championship aspirations. 
Remember, it's not injuries that kill seasons. Mm -hmm. It's expectations. Yep. So what's the expectation? Oh, he's the third scorer. Can he, that third wheel, you know, can he be a uh, uh, Clay Thompson? Yep. What Clay was to Steph and KD. Yep. Can he be yada, yada, yada? Skip, that's a lot. That's a lot to ask of a, okay. a third-year player. I got it. And furthermore, I think it's time for us to reiterate what his trainer posted on IG, oh. what was it, a month or so ago? Yep. Maybe a little longer. Take. 